This video will cover the steps to create a WDS link on the AP4000 slash 700 access points. To establish a WDS link, the following settings have to be configured in all WDS access points. Click on Configure Interfaces Wireless A or Wireless B. I will use Wireless A. I also have two access points here. Access point number two and then access point number one. Click on an access point number two. What we're going to do is we're going to take the MAC address of Wireless A. We're going to copy this and we're going to go over to the first access point. Once again, interfaces Wireless A. We're going to scroll down and we go to Wireless Distribution System. Click Edit and then we're going to go to the Partner IP and we're going to paste it. I'm going to click OK. Then we are going to go to the first access point, copy its MAC address, and we're going to do the same. Scroll down, and we're going to edit to the second access point. Once that is configured, make sure that the frequency channels are the same. Make sure you click OK and Reboot. Once they come up, the link shall be established. The AP4000 700 WDS link can be secured via WEP. To configure WDS WEP, click on Configure Interfaces, either Wireless A or Wireless B, whatever your WDS link is configured on. Scroll down towards the bottom until you reach WDS. Click Edit. Under WDS Security, by default is None, select WEP. Type in your key, click OK, and then Reboot. Make sure that all access points that are within the WDS system have the same web key. To verify that the WDS link is operational, click on Monitor Station Statistics, enable Monitor Station Statistics, then OK. If the link is operational, you should have an item over here. The type should be WDS. If it is not WDS, then the link is not operational. For more information, please visit support.proxim.com or contact technical support at 866-674-6626.